Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the Death Laboratory. Now that we've got the uh, sour gas boiler over here with its self-cooled aqua tuner going, I've uh, got a whole lot of power. So now we're running this base off of its own, and then I've got extra coming in from the other base. Well, I want to start shipping it to other planets. I was going to have a pit plant all three of these, but I thought this would be an excellent opportunity uh, to compare farm versus natural planted weaswarts. No, we want this. And so I want to get uh, prepared for rocket stuff. So you want an interplanetary launcher. You probably want to put it like over here so I can shoot stuff up. And we'll give it some background so it can cool itself with that. Yeah, so let me go ahead and get all this built. We'll get some ride bolt launches in here and some storage, and then we'll see how we're doing. I think I've got everything I need in here. Oh, I need the ride bolt joint plate. Why oh, can't... I can't build that because there's a backing? How does that make any sense? I guess maybe it considers that to be a solid tile because it's a joint plate. I don't know. Let's find out. See if it keeps the air in. Yeah, so red bolt launchers. I'm going to need more power for sure. Yeah, so let's get another transformer going and we'll run power over there. Actually, I can probably steal some of this. Now nah, it's already 840. Never mind, another transformer. And I keep forgetting about the main base. And so, yeah, let's get you off. Well, let's go get some more tungsten. This might be reset. Artifact available. Perfect. How much food do we have? 15 kilograms of berry sludge. But there's a suit in here. Really didn't need that suit. Whatever. And change crew. Ashcan's still assigned. Enable. Yeah, and now that he's taken off, he's still wearing his pajamas, so he can do whatever. That battery will get charged because he's flying. He just needs to run on the wheel when he's mining. Alright, buddy, you've got six cycles to go before you get there. Have fun. I think I'm just about there. So now if I make it so my dupes can't run through these doors, and we'll knock out this door. I'll deliver all the phosphorite over here. I'm shipping from the other base. This can grab it and feed these weaswarts. And then I'm using the carbon dioxide coming out of my generators to make sure all this doesn't overheat. And it looks like we're shooting the pip. <laughs> Sorry, pip buddy. You're going to run around in there, you're going to get whacked. So let's now compare. 1,200, 1,000, 1,000. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, it's the same. Whether you can get them, get a pip to plant them or feed them yourself, they are the same. So you, we need that pumped in. And who do I want to shoot? Let's shoot the tree planet. That's where I want to go next, and I want to have some power stocked up over there. And that's one where it's not going to go dump down into Nowheresville. 
that and then I want Okay, good. You do have an output. Do I want to do this? I think I want both pipes going all the way up. I was thinking about putting it on this pipe so that pipe's always full, but I think what I want is just to bring a whole second pipe all the way up and then I can get a second launcher going. Oh, nobody can build there because I locked it so my dupes don't die. Never mind. You know, one of those planning things. Build it, then get your dupes out of the way. I'm just going to keep messing this up. We'll be right back. All right, here comes the first pipe of gas. Now I've got this set all the way up. Yeah, everybody over here is getting shot. Yeah, so when all the generators are running, I don't quite get a full pipe out of it, but I don't care because this is going to shoot when it hits 200 anyway. And I don't need a full one kilo a second. I just need to shoot fuel. That launch cost 50, a launch cost 200. I'm storing 200. I don't know, I can never read that. Is launch cost 50 and I have 200, or is launch cost 200 per 50? I don't know. I think it's 50 rad bolts, but we'll find out once it gets to 200 kilograms. Oh, we're coming up on our first shot. I might go and toss that other pipe in here just so I get more gas out of it. Yep, so that used 50 rad bolts. There we go, we fill it back up. Easy enough. We are now doing interplanetary launching and I need... Let's see, let's put a gas bridge in. And we'll do something like that. I don't have to redo my automation to launch these two, but I should have enough rad bolts to do it. Now I just need enough gas. I completely forgot I had another set of pump, pumps over here. <laughs> we can use these pumps as well to fill up that pipe. So I don't... Eh, we'll leave that in there. Yeah, with that we... Oh god, they've already landed. And there we go. 200 kilograms of natural gas waiting for me to get there. Well, we'll get a couple launches going and then I'll get my dupes in these rockets. Ooh, that's what I need to know. First off, let's dump. Sorry about the camera work. Rest of that over. Those are loaded, those are loaded. These are 37 tall. Do I have 37 distance over here? Is that 34? Say, so yeah, we need to get down to there. I don't think I want to land on top of the tree. Okay, that won't be that bad. I just got to dig down a bit. I'll leave that mark there so I know where to get down to. We'll land over here. Okay, let me load up some food and we'll get some rockets going. So I come back to the main base and check on this and yeah, my petroleum storage is full. So it automatically turned off the petroleum boiler, which is exactly what's supposed to happen. We've got 
one tank full there. In fact, we can probably turn this up to like 70, make some more plastic. So that tank's full of petroleum. That tank's full of petroleum. And then this one up here is full to fill the rockets. Ooh, have I used up all of my hydrogen? Oh, that I shouldn't. That's bad. All right, turn this off. Otherwise, these batteries can overheat. All right, so I didn't quite have enough hydrogen to fill that entire tank, but more than enough for the none of it I'm using. So now we just need to load up with material, and then we can launch some rockets. Slight design flaw. Uh, yeah, this points directly across here, so any dupes coming out of that door get whacked. Let's uh, not have that happen. I just had this launch and a couple of dupes got shot in the face and it's about to happen again. Nope, I got out of the way. Nice. Yeah, that shot right there was getting them. Well, the second launcher is up. So now I want to redo my automation to come from here. And then we'll take off that one. And you can shoot Ice World. And you can shoot Water World. Yeah, because now I got two pipes coming in, so you should keep this one. I'm not doing that right. Yeah, I need a... I need that. So that way it fills up the first one first. Alright, and only a couple more dupes got shot in the head while doing that. So, we're good. I'll have Lyra come down here and get healed up. And what I might do is increase that to 15. Looks like I'm getting 13. Yeah, 13, 14 is coming through, so that's good. And now you fill up the first, and then that will help fill up the rest. Looks like I am overstressing the amount of natural gas I'm making, which is perfectly fine by me. Again, I'm running all this off of one oil well. So I decided to turn off these two pumps, let these generators get f filled back up. Yeah, we're a little bit short on power. Like I am just barely positive on power. I went and redid this so that this, you know, make sure that these have a one kilo pipe coming in. These are what, 90 each? Many times have I done this, I should know. So yeah, 90. So it's 11 I can run off of one pipe. Yeah, 11 and a bit. And I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yeah, so let's just make two more. Oh, let's just bring them down one. That way they're right on the cooling. Well, I can put them closer. But yeah, if I do two more, then that will be exactly 11. And then that will make sure I'm full. Uh, with that sorted, let's get a couple of dupes from here sent back. I don't think I need Steve over here anymore. There's nothing really left to dig. So, Steve, your time is done. You've been over here for a long time. Perfect. All right, so I need some dupes to load into rockets. Change crew, who do we got? We got Devin, 
Stinky and Steve will put three in here. And go into orbit and then change crew. Nails, but Quinn isn't over here. Nails is not a pilot, so I need a pilot. Is a pilot. And they're just delivering the rovers. Enable, unzip suit, deliver suit. Enable, unzip suit. Oh, never mind. Whatever. Yeah, so now they're taking off. They've got 100,000 calories in food. Same with you guys, three beds, three blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you're good to go. And you're on your way back. With another dream journal. I don't think I've made nearly enough of those. And we come back to the tree planet. And we are starting to bombard it. <laughs> I love it. Looks like my rockets are going to run into each other. <laughs> yeah. They're probably better pilots than that. But we're just about in orbit of the tree planet. So let's see who gets there first. And of course the one I don't want there first, so we'll wait for the other one. That way I can land the rovers, have them start the digging. And because I've learned my lesson enough times, save, then start dropping things on planets. And there's the symbol. Deploy the other one. And then take the top layer off. Hopefully these, and of course they don't fall. We'll have to figure out how to grab them later. I want to get down to there. So I got a little bit. Yeah, if I let the rovers do this initial load of digging, I would just make my dupe's life easier with less radiation. You know what I just noticed? There is no sedimentary rock up here. The first bit's down there. So I got to do that. Otherwise, I won't have any ladder segments or any way to build. Alright, and that should now be enough sedimentary rock, because I need to come down to at least here for a rocket platform. Let's grab some dupes. This is going to make a mess. Got 
Come on, deliver the steel. And which one has nobody in it? Devin. It's gonna get a bit hot in here, dupes. Perfect. And change crew. Steve. Stinky. Oh, that's kind of bad. All right, let's land the other one. I don't think they can hop down on this side. I just got to pay attention to that when I go to take off again. Hey, why are you trying to sleep here? You have a rocket. Oh, because this got set to grounded. Same with you. That's my bad. And you know, the true world is such a mess. And now I'm just trying to set basically the top of the base. And then once I do that, I can seal it in and make a good living area. Oh, no, he hasn't landed. That's the other rocket. Nobody I like. I was thinking my... Mining rocket has landed, but it's still there. We just about got a roof put on. I completely forgot to check. What does this base have besides tungsten? Oh, there's a hydrogen vent. Okay, so we have even more free power over here. And this looks to be a tungsten volcano because I can't see the hydrogen vent off the top. So that's probably the hydrogen and there's probably more tungsten in there. Oh, looks like my mining rocket is back. Let's remove the office mug and dump all of the nice liquid tungsten. Oh, and probably empty that. Lots more wolframite. How are we doing on niobium? Could probably cue this to make some more. Oh, I've used up all my iron ore. Oh, when you start expanding bases, there's always so much to do. I wonder if some of these fall and some of these don't. Uh, who knows? Okay, so I want a battery. a beacon and I eventually want to set this up to be automated so we'll try and figure that out if we're in range and payload opener Getting payloads delivered, see how much gas I actually got out of this. And each one of these is 200, so there's a ton of fuel sitting over here. There we go, we are delivering payloads. I'm going to keep all this nice and powered. Now that we got some payloads, I can do. I can probably just put them up there. And then I'll use the carbon dioxide from the generators in order to keep this from overheating. 
And just with the fuel loads I've delivered, there's already four tons of natural gas in here. And that's not even all the payloads. Just about though. Yeah, that is all. We got exactly four tons. <laughs> no, no, there's one more there. So, almost five tons of gas is already over here and at 90 grams a second per generator, that's a whole lot of fuel. Yeah, I'll take some free glass. Actually, I'll... Actually, free glass over here is fine. Maybe I'll put in some solar, you know, because I need the I need the power. We're almost there. A couple more pieces of pipe, and then I'll have power. Yep, five tons exactly. And there's some output. I mean, we're running off of solar for now, but yeah, we are going to call that good. Five tons of power. We've got dupes landed. Now I just got to build a whole bunch of deodorizers to clean up the air and make a mini base. That I figured out is a tungsten volcano, which means you are going to be the hydrogen. Thank you all very much for watching. I forgot to put that at the beginning of the video again. I will try to be better at that because... Obviously, everybody watching, thank you for watching. Those of you who make it all the way to the end, you're even that much better than the people who only watched the beginning. <laughs> I hope you all have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time.